when someone says to me they don't like hand sewing, I say, well, can't, will you just do a bit of hand sewing for me? Can I just have a look and see what you're actually doing? And the first thing that I often see is that they are using a needle that actually is really, really, really thick and really difficult to get to go through the fabric and what tends to happen certainly people my age I know you're not all my age lots of you will have good eyesight but it's difficult to thread the needle and so people tend to go for a thicker needle and a thicker needle and I would say two things there get yourself a needle threader so that you're not trying to just do it by eye but also embroidery needles are very useful when your eyesight isn't quite so good and an embroidery needle in size 9 or 10 is a slim needle but it has a long thin eye so it's very easy to thread but the eye and the needle are not really fat so that they will glide through your fabric so that can make a big difference so look at the needles that you are using look at the thread that you are using because some threads glide through fabric better than others and a poor quality thread you say you've got really cheap cotton thread that's really linty and, and twisty it's going to snarl you know when you're actually hand stitching so you do want to use a quality thread and a thread that is appropriate for the task that you were doing so let's say you were doing some hand stitched little hexagon paper piecing you want a very fine thread for that and you don't want great long lengths of thread you only want a relatively short length and we used to say kind of from your, your your little finger to your elbow was as long as you would you should have I always remember my son um asking for some thread to fix the pocket of his jeans and I gave him a thread and he got he'd got a length of thread off and every stitch was like this I said oh Ben shall we just shorten that thread for you and he said oh yeah it's much easier that isn't it mum so don't don't have the thread too long um, and there's also a theory that the thread will snarl least if you put the needle at the end that's already cut and the knot at the newly cut end because of the twist of the thread it helps to um, prevent it from um, snarling so think about the thread you're using think about the length of thread and um, choose the right thing now some fabrics are really hard to what they call needle so some fabrics are just not going to be pleasant to hand sew so again let's go back to that hexagon idea um, if you were using a very very crisp very tightly woven cotton poplin let's just say for sake of argument had a bit of polyester in it it's going to be really hard to get your needle in whereas a softer cotton will be much um, more user friendly so the fabric can make a difference but the last thing I'm going to get you to look at is how are you actually sat how are you actually kind of physically approaching this so often if I've got a lot of hand sewing to do I will be on a fairly low chair with no arms so I've got lots of movement and I'll put a big pillow on my knee so that I am lifting my work to the right height now some of you are left-handed and will work from left to right and some of you are right-handed and will work from right to left but you need to um, make sure you're doing the right one some of you'll be ambidextrous but really when you are sewing you want to be going in and out in the same motion and quite often I will see um, a student and they will put the needle in from the top of the work and then they will take their hand underneath and pull it out and then come from the underneath to the top in two separate movements and it's just not pleasant to actually watch never mind so so have a look at the action that you are using and try and make sure that you are being efficient and comfortable in the actual physical um, motion that you are making to do that stitching and then I'll go right back to the beginning just tell yourself this is fun, I'm going to enjoy this, I'm going to put a lovely um, tape on, I'm going to listen to something really nice, I'm going to have a nice cup of tea out of the place of the work but I'll take, keep taking a, a sip of tea, I'm going to enjoy this, I'm going to relax and I'm going to get better at it the more I practice. So good luck with all of those tips.